Oh, this is the lab we are going to complete. So now let's see how to start this lab. Open your file explorer. Go to the place where you save your course uh, contents here. Let's create a folder lab02 to hold all the files we need today. Lab02. Now go to this IS330 which contains our GitHub contents. Right? You right click the empty space and uh, click git bash here. Every time if you want to update the contents, you only need to type git pull. And now you will see uh, it's uh, updated. And all your local changes to the following files will be overwritten. But here you see a uh, because I changed it locally, so the process is a aborting. That's why every time don't modify the contents in this folder, it's better copy it out. So I delete this one and I use uh, git clone to clone it again. Git bash here. Git clone. So I need to uh, copy that uh, link. You can type it like this, https github.com l-f-i-d-o-n ITS 330.git Ok, now you have a look. No, it's a clone here. All the stuff is here. These are the latest uh, stuff. So don't modify inside this place, otherwise every time you need to run git clone again. And the code inside lab02, come to the code, win, uh, win and CS, which means uh, Windows API and C Shop. Ctrl C, select them, come to our uh, ids 30 top folder, lab02, Ctrl V, paste it here. Now come back, you will right click your lab02, open with the uh, code. Here are just some templates. The first one, we have demonstrated this one during the lecture. Now we use this as a template, create a child as a template to complete our uh, lab. Here, this uh, program, even though we don't know how to write in C or C++, but we will be able to read it, right? For further details, you can go to the reference, Ctrl C. Open your browser, Ctrl V. Here, you can see uh, creating processes. The create process function, how to use it, and uh, with the uh, example, the following code demonstrate how to create a process, just create a single process. And uh, if you learn, want to learn more, you for the, from the concepts, examples, functions, references, all the stuff provided by Windows here, processes and threads, about processes and threads for the concepts, then how to use them, using process in the uh, Stress for reference you can check here for the reference of all the functions and the data structures. Okay, this is the place where you want to learn more. So now let's uh, come back here. We want to use this one as a template to modify it first. The number of processes. Uh, we can uh, copy this one. The four processes must be here. 
can't just see come to your Visual Studio Code you can add a comment say these are the four processes File Explorer, MS Paint, Snipping Tool, Event Viewer now this N it says this N is number of processes so you need to find the place you need to change so this is a 4 now this here is the main program there are some data structures we have discussed in the lecture start up info process information now the programs to be loaded so this is a nice place so you may uh, put this uh, comment to the right place the programs to be loaded you can put them here this will be more readable right so as a demo here we have three programs MS Paint, Notepad and a Win32 calculator then this part is used to initialize those uh, data structures here initialize data structures used for creating processes for example the startup information the process information data structures now we are going to create uh, child processes then in this uh, for loop we will create create those uh, four processes one by one using this function create process as you have just see how to use that uh, function create process open this function you can find uh, its uh, detailed explanation here now these are uh, here is the application name so it looks like we only need to change the application name. If you want to modify other parameters, uh, please check the documentation. For example, command line, process handle, whether inheritable or not, and so on. So we don't need to modify anything. Here you see uh, this is if else. If the process is created successfully, it will jump to this statement chat process is created otherwise it will print out an arrow it says create process for that ith process field then you come here you can see uh, you combine those uh, process handles into an array then wait for that array wait for those uh, chat process to exit after all those child processes uh, exited then this the parent process will exit you can find the documentation on Microsoft website for this wait for multiple objects this function how to use it it waited for this uh, all these proce processes after that we close process handles here we only clo close the process handle as we discussed during the lecture this is incomplete right you check create child one create one child this uh, example provided on Microsoft website and the other two I modified from this one when you compare this create create n child with the create one child as we discussed during the lecture we missed uh, create the thread handle we know on Windows each process has a main thread so we need to uh, close handle pi dot you can see there is an edge thread after we closed all the chart processes uh, their handles then we terminate our parent pro process so this is the flow chart of this uh, program now before you use the template is a good idea is
For example, you copy code from the website. It's better to compare it first to see whether it worked or not. So now let's uh, compare it. Uh, we use our command line develop environment in this uh, Visual Studio 2019 developer command prompt. Open this one. Now type CD. We want to go to the place here, lab 02. And uh, currently we are modify the Win Windows API program. So choose it, copy, come here, right click, it paste here automatically. Don't use Ctrl V, just right click. If you want to use Ctrl C or Ctrl V, you need to check here. Ctrl V is good, but Ctrl C, it will close your. your command prompt. Press enter. Here you see your working folder come to this place. Always use the DIR command for confirmation. So here you see your create and child dot C. Now use your C compiler to compare this create and child dot C. Uh, you see everything is good. The auto program is this one. Again, use your DIR for confirmation. You see this uh, executable program. Now, if you run it, create in child, press enter. You see uh, this is the MS Paint, this is a calculator, this is a notepad. Right? Three child processes is uh, created and it looks good. So now let's close it and uh, modify the program to load the programs we, we need. So currently we know this program, it works. Here after we close them, now we get something, uh, get a problem. Create process for null field. For null failed, so it looks that is a null. So, why do we get a null? Because we changed this n to four, right? We changed this n to four, but in this uh, list of program, we only provided a three, which means the last one is nothing null. That's why we get a, a error. So before we move on, you you check it works. Uh, I demonstrate during the class, so we, we will not demonstrate again. So we can uh, just start here. So we need to supply the program location of these four programs. MS Paint is, is here, so we already have a MS Paint, but the file explorer, explorer, so while it is, we know this is a file explorer. Or you can uh, find here. F oh, oops, not fire. It's a file. File explorer. So this is a file explorer. How do you find its location? You right click, check properties. Oops, the property come to this place. Now how how do we uh, find its location? We can from this application part to find the. File Explorer. Here, I didn't see uh, here. If I right click this uh, quick button, I see a file explorer here, but I, I didn't see what it is. You need to find its location. On this desktop, I also don't know where it is. So, in this case, how could we find a uh, its location and name. We can ask Google, say uh, Windows File Explorer uh, EXE location. This one's name is called explorer.exe. It's located in the folder C Windows. 
In other case, is a violent spell where children and one. So now, by default, it says it's here. But there are so many levels online, so you need to verify by yourself. Here, uh, you can go have a look. It says NC Windows, then its name called explorer.exe. Uh, explorer.exe. Scroll down to find that uh, here. Explorer.exe. If you double click, you'll see this uh, file explorer pops up. Okay, that's what we want. So, we can copy this one. It says this is the best uh, place just uh, from this place. C Windows copy this one, even though they're the same. And please uh, take a note about the program name, program name explorer.exe. So now you come back. We change the next one. We already have MS Paint. It called explorer.exe. Now the snipping tool Snipping tool in the search box here you right click now open file location then you come to this place this place please pay attention there is an arrow means it's a shortcut so shortcut is not its real location you still need to right click when the property here you see its location its target snipping tool.exe you can open file location now you see it's here. Its name snipping tool.exe. This is a location. System32. And this is a na name. If you are af afraid to have typo, you can use this way. Rename Ctrl C. Just copy it. Come back. It's under System32, right? System32. So Windows System 32. So we can change this one. Can we put it here? Snipping tool. Now, explore the MS Paint snipping tool. We still have an event viewer. <coughs> now let's uh, find the e event viewer. Again, go from here, event. Here you see the event viewer. Right click, uh, find open file location. Again, this is a shortcut. You need to right click again. Uh, property. Okay, again, you see it's, uh, you open location here. Open location is on a Windows System 32. Its name called here. This one is the event viewer. exe so we know what it is you can right click uh, rename ctrl c just copy the name and it says uh, here you can add one more line just add it here or you w if you want to add the uh, at the end the water does not matter you use a quote just uh, follow the same style right Windows, we know the case does not matter. And uh, on the system 32 dot exe. So now these are the four programs we want to load. Now we can close those. Uh, I needed a uh, Windows. Okay, now let's have a test. You compare it. Actually, you use your arrow key. Just compare it like this. 
Okay, it's compared it use your arrow key to run it. Press enter. Okay, now you see uh, you have MS Paint, you have this file explorer, you have uh, what are you do event viewer? Uh, this is not the event viewer. That's why before we start it's better close those uh, uh, needed stuff. File explorer, close it. Uh, not close, just minimize. Here we see uh, we have a failure. Create process for this uh, snip tool field. Snipping tool field. So, which means we have some problem here. This snipping tool field. The snipping tool is on the Windows C tool. Let's uh, try to find it again here. It's under uh, Windows System Set Tool uh, Snipping Tool. So let's see. It's not here. Let's end. Snipping tool is here. You can run, run this one. Double click. Right, you see this snip tool come come up. Uh, close it. Let's check uh, whether we have any type of here. Windows System Set Tool Snipping Tool .exe. You check here Snipping Tool .exe. So no problem. So let's see where we get the error why we cannot create it so if we are it says create this one field and error 2 with a return error 2 so you can check that create process function is return create process the arrow tool. You scroll down to see those uh, arrows return value true or, or fail. If the succeed, the return value non zero, failed, the return value is zero. The arrow, we get last arrow. You have to get uh, exit code. Now we want to find a uh, explanation about those uh, exit code we call the exit code 2 right so come here get exit code process when we scroll down to see uh, how do we get that code arrow code get a last arrow we use this to get a last arrow and that arrow 2 So let's close those unrelated stuff. Here yeah, I think I, I need to close all this stuff. Those unrelated stuff. Okay, snip so one is not running. Now we are running to again. Again, we only uh, start up two of them, which means it failed at this one. The arrow code is two. So now, how do we find the problem arrow code two? Windows, last arrow two, what's that one? Arrow code, system arrow code provided by Microsoft and arrow code 0, arrow code 1, arrow code 2, 
it says file not found. So it says this one it does not found my snipping tool. So now let's close this uh, chart process. Come back to our function. It says this one is not found. Windows system search tool snipping tool.exe is not found. We just find it there. That part it says this is not not found. Double check. Location snipping tool property here open file location. It's under this process. This uh, location and snipping tool.exe. Do I have any typo here? Windows system set to snipping tool. I didn't see any typo here. Okay, this is weird. That's a uh, control X. Put it at the end. Control V, control S, put it here. Now compare it again. Launch it. Okay, check the output. Snipping tool still failed. File not found, found. So why do we get this error even though we, we do have it? When you check this, <coughs> uh, this pro location here. In this case, how do we test this one? We can use a uh, create one chart to test this uh, snipping tool. Let's copy this one. Can you see? Copy it. And we close our uh, unused processes. come to a create one chart process. Here we are trying to call MS uh, paint, load MS paint. Now we load this snipping, snipping tool using one uh, process. We just see whether it works or not. So others uh, you, you don't need to worry about. Because it only says the file not found. Now we compare CL that create one chart dot C. Okay, it's uh, succeeded. We run it. Create one chart. And you say uh, create process failed. It's not found. This is uh, quite weird, even though we we found this one is under that location, right? Okay, this is a weird problem. Now, in this case, uh, let's change our. Uh, Change our pro program to load the snipping tool. Let's change it to other program. Let's say 
try to find a program on the Windows uh, accessories. For example, let's use this uh, character map and right click, open file location, character map. map. Here again is a shortcut. We need to right click again, find property, find its loca open location. Here, this is still on the Windows 32, Windows system 32. Can you see? And its name called chormap.exe. Okay, right click here. It looks like this. Okay, now let's uh, close it. And change this uh, snipping tool. We can comment out to say this is a weird uh, problem. System 32, uh, the name is, oops, I just closed it. It's called chomap.exe. Chomap.exe. Please pay attention. We need to escape for this uh, backward slash. Okay, Ctrl S. Now we save it. Uh, one problem, I uh, have a problem here. Yes. Okay, now let's uh, compare and run, run it. Compare this create and chart.c. Okay, it's uh, compiled. Now run it. Create and chart. Uh, make sure we don't have those. Uh, program loaded. Okay, now we press enter. Here. Now you see all four processes are created. The chart map, this uh, event viewer, and uh, that file explorer uh, Explorer. Here is the Explorer. Right, we have all this stuff. Now, how do we know that what we want? We need a the process invest investigation tool. The CC terminals or pro process here. The process explorer in the sys internal suite where you download it independently. Here, go to the R uh, proc explorer 64. Double click, run it. Okay, we want to verify or investigate. We created that uh, for chart processes here. Create any chart processes. We have MS Paint and a chart map. So what the other two? Right, you see the other two not show up here. You only see the MS Paint and the chart map. Let's close them uh, one by one and uh, open this here. MS Paint. Now you see my uh, all those chart process are closed and this uh, parent process terminated. So you see something weird. The event view is still here, but it's uh, not still up there. So it looks like that relationship for some program it just uh, detached from the parent process. Here the this internal is close all this stuff. Now we leave it like this uh, and uh, make sure we don't have instances of those four programs. Here, you see now all of them is closed. Now let's run it again to pay attention to this uh, place, this uh, command window. Run it again. 
close to my stuff. Again, you, we only see a uh, two show up as the children or create in child, right? This is a child map and this is MS Paint. This is a child map. This is MS Paint. And uh, the other the character map is always uh, open here. And that explorer. Here, explorer, you see it was a pop up to the explorer. So you see the relationship for some program that does not show as a child or this create uh, create and child.exe. So this is a this is a situation under Windows. You may uh, find some online document about this situation. So now let's uh, close File Explorer. This uh, paint, only the paint, the character map or the event view, I close it. Then the MS paint, I close it. So you see that the work on and that create in chart also terminated. Now we have problem. Why this uh, explorer.exe and that event viewer not show as the children of this create in child? Now here you see a closed all those uh, stuff. Closed the file explorer and closed that event viewer. Before I run it, but those two does not show up as a chart process. When we check our code, the code is very uh, clear. All those chart processes, they are treated uh, the same, treated identically, right? Processes. Okay, it's uh, just uh, a situation or the different behavior of programs on Windows. It's not a problem of this uh, this program. And you also see, even though we find this one is at that location, but when we run this program, it can it says the file not found. So in this case, who we can resort to? We, we need to uh, feedback to uh, Microsoft to ask them for technique support. Oh, this is the first uh, task create with uh, Windows API. The next task we create chart processes with uh, this uh, C Shop. Here, C Shop, we will use this uh, create in chart as the template. Here since we have compare and demonstrate this one in the class, so we think it's good. Here the number of processes and programs to be loaded, we only need to modify these places. And uh, because all others, they are treated uh, identically, so we only need to modify here programs to be loaded. The first one, number of processes is 4. Then the programs to be loaded, we can copy from this uh, Windows API program. Copy this part. Ctrl C, come back to your C sharp program. Here, Ctrl V. Uh, please uh, make your code readable. Select them all, press tab key. Mix format, clearer. Connect, save it. Okay, we have these uh, four programs. Now, let's uh, see whether MS Paint can be found here. We just comment out this one, the event view. 
to see whether C# -sharp can find or not. And here are some property for the startup information you, you need to set up. The program name we set here. And here working directory we add the C drive the root, create window, show, and some argument here. This argument, if you want to find the information about what this argument mean, from this reference, you will find the argument in the command line stuff. Can we paste here? Okay, this uh, this reference. Is from this place. If you want to know that uh, information about this dot info, you can Google it like this. C shop start info arguments was here. Now you see process dot info class. Actually, we need to search like uh, this one. The start info. You scroll down. The start info is uh, or this uh, is a member of this uh, process. So if you want to find, actually, it's a type is a process start info. Here is an example. Now that argument, and right click the process start info to find the, what that argument means. Scroll down. To find uh, the arguments here, the arguments get sets command line arguments to use when starting the application. Okay, now let's compare and run it. It's a good idea to check that you, you didn't run the programs you want to load. So I need to pay attention. I need to CD up one level. Go to CS dot 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 CS. Every time before you issue commands, use DIR to see where you are here. You see our uh, CS create uh, create in chart. This C shop you will see SC to compare this CS create in Chart.cs, press enter. Okay. Uh, it has succeeded. There are again, you see this exe file. Now, before we run it, what program we are going to load? MS Paint? No, here and I have no MS Paint. Snipping tool? No. Chart map? No. Explorer? Here, this explorer you see is not loaded, it's just a uh, shortcut here. This is my uh, Chrome. If we have a process is running, you will see it pop up an uh, instance here. This is Fry Explorer. Nothing pop up, which means I didn't run it. Okay, now please use this one, put it here, then you can see it clearly for that CMD command window, right? But you see there is an instance explorer is running. But it's not show up. So what is explorer? You can uh, go on Google to find actually the whole current we are interact with these windows is this explorer. If you end this explorer you will see your desktop will gone. This could be one reason why it does not show up as a child or our console program. CS create in child. This is C sharp version. Press enter. Okay. 
you see all this pop up and uh, you check that command so what is that tree it is now this time we even didn't find the value test in C sharp right in C sharp we have a window here you see the window here we create zero one two three chart processes when you check this uh, process explorer you scroll down here we, we didn't see it Here we click refresh. We still didn't find it. The other way you use task manager to see whether you can find those stuff. Task manager, they show up here MS Punt, Punt, Character Map, Snipping Tool. Now this time you see with with this C shop, Snipping Tool popped up. Here we uh, go to users. You can see the the console host. This is a console window, but it show up uh, four of them. And this are uh, create. Uh, this is the uh, Visual Studio Code. Snipping to uh, and in this uh, task manager, the parent child relationship not show up. So it uh, looks like a C Sharp handle it uh, differently. And this time, you see something weird. That snipping tool, this time, it's uh, loaded successfully with C Sharp. And with the location, is uh, we didn't change the location. We just copied the location, right? But Windows API says it uh, cannot be found. And this. Uh, task manager close this task manager. I want to s let you see all these four stuff. This is MS Paint, but it says C zero dot PNG was not found. Now let's uh, have a look. Why we get this uh, error? First, we need to check all these uh, four programs are loaded. This is a chart map, and this uh, file explorer you see is here. So we have all these four programs. We have a problem is this MS Paint, it shows 0.png was not found. So let's uh, click OK. But before that, I would like to show you here when we initialize the start information, you see the working directory is C. So you wonder that C here. Compare this one, C, C. 0.png here. The argument, the index, and this MS Paint is the first one. The array is from 0, 1, 2, 3. It's the first one, so the uh, index is 0, right? 0, 1, 2, 3. So, 0 dot PNG. So, this is the default image name created automatically by this C shop and uh, try to open it with MS Paint. But we don't have this image. That's why we get this. Uh, Explanation mark or the warning dialog box. So now let's uh, click OK. Third one, we need to uh, close all these uh, child process. You will see the parent process will terminate. The child map, close it. Snipping tool, close it. Now it says all child process completed. Waiting for user to pros press enter key. So you see this uh, file explorer again. When it's uh, loaded, it's not attached as a chart process of this uh, create m chart. So this is uh, a special behavior. So now let's uh, press enter to terminate the parent process. Uh, the parent process is terminated. And you also see we cannot find them here find their relationship with this uh, process uh, explorer here.
Now let's solve that problem. Here, if you don't provide an image, one way is you just uh, supply nothing. Comment on this one. Ctrl C. Ctrl V. For those students are familiar with C Sharp, you supply nothing. It's just supply now. Ctrl S. Right, now we don't supply uh, any uh, command line arguments. We compare and run it again. Let's minimize it. Then uh, I cannot find the C CMD here. Let's close this one and run it again. This uh, process explorer. Process Explorer and uh, my uh, 330 tools. PR Proc Process Explorer 64. Oops. Okay, I run it again. And close this uh, file explorer. Okay, the file explorer is uh, closed. You see nothing pop up. Okay, we have, have this Chrome over there, CMD, Visual Studio Code. You still see a explorer here. Right, this explorer is for the desktop, otherwise your desktop will be closed. After this step, you can try to close this one to see what happened. You will see your desktop will be blacked out. Okay, we have uh, two commands here and it has a con house here. I don't know uh, which one is that. Now let's uh, compare it again. We just modify the program, don't supply arguments. Okay, it's compared and you see that CSC pop up quickly and disappear quickly. Alright, now run it. Okay, everything pops up. Sleeping tour, file explorer, MS Punt, chart map. And again, you see that cmd.exe con host. We don't see any parent child relationship here. So, this is the behavior of your C shop when how it create uh, processes. Now, this time, the MS Paint is just uh, open a new untitled uh, canvas for you. You check here, these are the processes 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 2, 1, 3. Because they are done in parallel, that, that's why the order not necessary, the same order. And you will learn the concepts next week. The, how do we schedule processes? Okay, now this time I, I close this file explorer first. Then close this uh, MS Paint and close this uh, snipping tool and close this uh, chart map. Okay, all of them are closed. But here is still uh, waiting. I want to close all of them. So after I close all of them, Come here, we, we, we will see this all chart process completed. But when you come here, you see it looks like a refresh. You need to press enter to refresh the output. Press enter again. I just press uh, enter, then this uh, one show up, this line show up, which means 
this uh, console window is not refreshed automatically. Press enter. Okay, now it's uh, terminated. Uh, terminated parent process completed execution, and you also see some that CMD disappeared. Yeah, the CMD. There's two CMD are here. They are still here. So which means we have CMD here. And why we see so many stuff here? All the chart processes or just uh, here you close that one. It, they are threads. You can right click on its properties and you check the threads. Here you see this chrome. There are so many threads. I just cancel it. Uh, this is uh, a program and you need to show here and discuss even though it's not here you need to discuss why it's not here ok we completed our program go back to our lab these are the two programs one in Windows API, the other one is C Shop, and we see a weird uh, problem that a snipping tool cannot be loaded with the Windows I API successfully, but it uh, did be loaded uh, successfully with C Shop. This is a uh, technology. There are always some uh, problems as an engineer or technician we need to f find where the problem is but this is the system is designed by Microsoft so we need to ask uh, technician support from Microsoft the review questions what's the purpose of system core you can just uh, summarize the description in this uh, link right click open this link the system core what is purpose is the programmatic way in which a computer program requests a service from the kernel of the operating system on which it's executed. So it's better summarize the whole paragraph. This is the first review question. The second review question list examples of Windows API and the Linux system course refer to a system core in OS types and uh, examples so complete the following table and uh, each cell must be filled at least uh, file functions here are these uh, services process control file manipulation and so on so each cell list file functions so you can uh, divide this three uh, cell into five rows each row for example process creation process termination what the windows api uh, function for create process it's a create process right just create process so where could you find those uh, functions for linux here we have a search for linux system core table and uh, it's better uses of classification and grouping of linux uh, system cores on Linux, it's called System Course. On Windows, we have a Windows API. Please pay attention. Windows API is different from uh, Windows System Core. You can check these two links. Here, this uh, link of Windows API, then second link of Windows System Core. Here for that uh, Linux. Oh, this is Windows that uh, Linux. Let's see uh, where I open it. Classification and grouping of Linux system course. Here for files, you can see this uh, file access. You can see the 
done so many other functions. Each it give a function name and give it a give it a function. But this file, we want to check this file. File is here. Scroll down. For example, create create a file. Open open and possibly create a file. Truncate. Pipe. These are the. These are the function of a file, truncate a file. So you need to choose, for example, create, open, truncate. Then there are some read and write. Scroll down, see a uh, state, access, but it looks like this. Uh, this one didn't say what uh, function of this state, right? No description. I'll rename. So you may find other resource for this uh, Linux uh, API. Yeah, the Linux uh, API. Search for Linux system core table. But Linux will create a system core. Now for the Windows. Here this is Windows system core. So don't uh, be confused with the Windows system core and the Windows API. In the lab, you are asked to fill with Windows a API, not not the Windows system core. As Microsoft suggests, don't use the Windows uh, system core directly because Microsoft will change them frequently. I click show bar, it does not work. I need to wait a minute. And here, the left side are the function name, or the system core function name. And this table says what Windows uh, version you can from Windows NT 2000 XP and uh, Windows 10, which version support this system core function. All this system core function you can see is started with NT. Please pay attention. Windows API and uh, Linux uh, system core, they're all case sensitive. So you know, uppercase, lowercase mean different things. So if you type the name, please use it uh, exactly. Here you see now it show up. After I click this show, uh, I wait several seconds until they all show up. And uh, this is not required because it's not suggested for you to use by Microsoft. Microsoft suggests you use their uh, API. Here, the API I just uh, opened. So, what is this? Here, this uh, Windows complete list of Windows API. Open here. Windows API are uh, indexes. So, now. For example, if you want to find the Windows API for files, scroll down to see which one is for files. Data access, file, and uh, I.O. So right click, open this one. File manage the functions here, the functions, file man management functions. Now you see here are so many uh, functions Windows API used for file management. Copy file, copy file, transaction, create file, create a file tool, decrypt file, delete file, encrypt file, find close, and so on. So list uh, a list of file Windows API. List here is quite easy, right, for you to list here. Linux system core is also very easy for you to uh, list here. The only difficulty is if you want to find the corresponding version, for example, Windows create a file, what is the function of Linux uh, create a file system call? So that's the difficult stuff you need to uh, handle. 
the quick way you may uh, just ask Google. Uh, you say Linux uh, function create file. Here you can see a clear file new equivalent on Linux. Someone asks this, this one. This one you see a create new file. You use this create. Please pay attention. The name, the function name on Linux, usually they, they are abbreviated. For example, that E is remote. And this is the right uh, function name. If you add an E, it's wrong. So this is a function for create a new file. And for that uh, Windows, you use this uh, create file here. Uh, get, create, just control F, create. This is yeah, more quick. Create temp of file name. We want that create file, not create temp file. So create, have so many create, create file. Here it says create or open the file or L device. And you can see the functions are close but not exactly uh, identical. This create file and this uh, Linux create. The Linux create create a new file or rewrite an existing one. But this uh, Windows create file, oops, here. Create or open a file via a device. So you, you need to put these uh, similar stuff pair by pair in this uh, in this table. For those uh, this file manipulation process control, you just see our demo on our demo in Windows API create process. Now you need to find the on Linux what the process function means. So again, you can ask Google. Its name is called a fork. So you can Google it like this. Links are create process function. Links create process. Here, someone asked uh, the counterpart or Windows create process. So you scroll down, you will see three of them. System, exec, uh, popen, and uh, this uh, the right answer fork. You use this fork. So you may need to go through several uh, pages. There's no standard answer for this table, so you can put what the functions that you like here.